Uh, okay. I don't know why I got started crooked, but it straightened out. Is that already too far? Okay, I remember now how this thing works. I, I thought it was gonna seal on part of the shaft, but it actually seals on this thing, which is already pretty messed up. Sealing surface, which is why I, I considered reversing the seal. I don't know if people could let me know what they think. You reverse it. They're supposed to be this way to keep the oil in, but you could look at it as keeping the water out. If I reversed it, then the sealing surface would be out here on this better, much better ground area. Same with this bearing, which is even more pitted so I think this bearing had like coolant stuck inside of it at one point, not the most recent bearing, but some bearing before that. So it's pitted on the inside of the, of the ceiling surface. If I have the ceiling surface where it's supposed to be, it'd be right there where the pitting is. If I move, if I reverse the bear, the seal, it would put the ceiling surface out here on this better material. Okay, this is what I've come up with as far as putting the ball screw into the thrust bearings. I'm not sure I should have these, um, the clamp assembly tightened down right now. None of this should touch. It's just, it's only gonna happen when it gets to here. And I'm just spinning this ball screw and it's going through the ball nut. And this is loose right now because there's a ton of play in this. I should probably try and have it relatively centered, but. So now what's happening, it's pushing the table back. So the camera's mounted to the table. You might notice it moving slightly. Okay, I got this bar clamp keeping the table from moving. I think this is fine for just slow torque that I'm gonna be putting on the whole thing. Okay. Um. Well, it's going. That's working. Well, it's going. Not too much force. Using the screw to as a thrust element. So what happened there? It bound up right there. And is that where it starts hitting the second bearing? Maybe. Maybe that means I should loosen these. Okay, I'm loosening. these bolts that hold that clamp the two thrust bearings together because I think it might have bound up right where it started to go through the next bearing because they might not be perfect the inner races might not be perfectly aligned for some reason even though the outer races are in the same bore so um but anyway the thrust became more severe okay let's try although now I don't have that bearing really retained let's try it though Okay, well, it's working. So that was part of the issue. It's a fair amount of thrust. It's bending my clamp a little bit. How far is this supposed to go? Actually, it might be getting close now. And I guess I could put the... Now that it's through enough, I could actually put this... This... Uh, what is it called? Like the ball, the thrust bearing capture bolt, nut rather. Get, oh, here's my socket. Okay, now I'm turning the ball screw so it probably hit the bottom. And believe it or not, they actually recommend the Apparently the factory even put together this, this nut assembly with an impact wrench. If you don't already have an electric impact, these things, the half inch Makita one, it's pretty amazing. But it has a lot of torque. It's like 800 foot pounds or something. I don't remember. Okay, we've got the battery. We're on medium setting. Something. 
keeps moving when I do the impact. Just turning it's not enough, but the impact. It's pulling it together. Okay, it's, it's abutting it now. There's a certain amount of torquing that needs to be done. I'm gonna get a better rag. Okay, this is a clean rag. Holding on to the ball screw. See how this goes. I just don't want it to turn. Ooh. That's, yeah, that feels good though. It's, it's tight. This story is when I first took this apart after buying this used machine, this nut was loose. The nut that clamps the ball screw into the thrust bearing was loose by like two or three turns. Um, they must have never torqued it down and it slowly loosened and caused all kinds of issues. That looks good though, I'm happy. You want to actually tighten these down when the table is all the way over, or the ball nut is all the way over, so that you know you're not misaligned with the actual stationary ball nut. So now I still need to tighten these, which I'm probably going to want to use my nifty little speed drive adapter. This will just fit on there like that. And then use this thing. This is the three, no, this is the half inch drive. I need the three eighths. Uh, here's our three eighths adapter just in a normal drill. So, it's the wrong way, we'll move this way. This is how you, it takes way too much turns to move. Take a video. This is impressive when the table's all the way over without the covers, like you can see how much it cantilevers off the side this design so now I need to tighten can you see the bolts that are well, there I can see the ball screw which I haven't really got a good I could clean it from this angle huh? from this position there's the end stop that thing on the right there is on the bottom I guess for you can we get a view of the nut I need to tighten, or the bolt I need to tighten? No, it's up higher. Okay, I'm going to push and pull the table now with the dial indicator more rigidly attached. Okay, I'm pulling away from the dial, pushing towards the dial, pulling away, pushing, and this is applying the constant tension right now, so I'm pushing and I'm holding it. And now I'm going to pull and hold it, see if that looks any different. And then I'm going to zoom out this camera so you can see how it's, how the indicator... I was worried before that when the indicator was attached to the magnetic indicator holder from way over here that I was dealing with the flexing of this whole aluminum plate, which now I'm more attached to the, just to the aluminum, with this clamp and this shorter I mean, there's still obviously a little bit of room between the actual ball bearings, but it's closer. It looks like it's about a thousandth, I think, or ten thousandth rather. This is a ten thousandth indicator. I think I'm happy with that. Okay. Here you can see I'm uh, lowering the machine because it's been on four by four wood blocks since I got it in place on these uh, roller tracks. So now it's going down in three quarter inch. Well inch and a half increments, three quarter on either side, and done.